Hi everyone, Mr. Rock here. I am going to go over some different uh, holiday inspired activities you can do with your kids at home. Um, one will take a little extra technical uh, abilities on your part, uh, but the software to do it's rather free. It just takes a little bit of patience. So it's something that you can do with your children to kind of bond a little bit better. Um, but always keep in mind it does not have to be perfect. So let's uh, look at the video. Santa. Santa. So what did you think of the video? Um, it is just a series of photographs put together. Um, the program that I use is Stop Motion Animator. Um, and I can, I can add the link later. Um, basically, if you search it through your Play Store, you'll find a bunch of free ones. Um, it's just a matter of finding one that works best for you. So the next thing I want to do is paint a picture. Um, just to kind of keep in the holiday spirit, we're going to paint Santa. So I have my canvas here. It doesn't matter what you use. You can use um, paper plates. You can use standard paper. Um, you can use watercolors or acrylic. I'm going to use acrylic today um, just because I think that it is a bolder look. So first what we're going to do is we're going to get one of our brushes here and we should probably put down his suit. So we're going to take a little bit of red. And this is one of those things that um, you take as much time as you want. Uh, you can uh, help your child by drawing like a real rough sketch on the, the paper. Um, that's what I do. Um, you probably can't see it in the video uh, because the pencil is really light on the canvas, but it kind of helps give you a guide almost to go go through with that. And I'm going to pull this picture up here in a minute once I get this red down. One of the things that I've learned, um, not even just on this job, just working with my kids through the various science projects that I've painted um, over this year, is the kids really, really enjoy it when you get down and you do the same thing that they are. So we're going to start with his suit. Uh, and then let's go ahead and uh, do his hat next. Now. Uh, you can go in any order you really want, uh, but the key here is to just make sure that you're having fun. Uh, it does not have to be perfect. I can guarantee that mine will not be perfect. Uh, we're not painting with shapes like before, but you can kind of use some basic shapes like circles and rectangles and whatnot. Uh, Kind of have fun with it. Whatever you think is something you want to use or a comment about what you're painting, feel free to. So I kind of have his hat here with it drooped over like mine and his overall basic body. Um, so next, let's do some eyeballs. Maybe uh, I'm going to leave his face white. So we're almost going to have to kind of uh, put white in there for his eyeballs. Uh, the canvas may look white, but it's a slight off-white. Um, so you'll really notice once I put this white on here, the difference. Okay. 
kind of start to see some of the white will pop out right there. And as we put more colors together, um, it'll start to be more uh, coherent as to what we're doing. So Santa has rosy red cheeks, right? So let's make some some like pinkish red. Um, so you do that by mixing white and red. Uh, it does not take a lot of red to your white. You'll notice I have like a salmon color here. Um, we're gonna I'm getting two little cheeks here. Again, circles. Talk about your shapes. Ask them why they're doing the things that they're doing. Uh, they may know, they may not know, and that's fine. Some of the best pictures that I've done did not have an actual direction when I started it. Um, they just merely had a finish. You might want to let some time go between trying to stack your colors here. And that's okay. If you need to, pause the video. And then restart it as you go through. Um, again, there's no real wrong way to do it. So if you put, I put some centers to his eyes here. So um, we're gonna go back to the white. Um, so it's gonna get a little tricky because my red is still a little wet. But I want to start putting in some hair and some of the fuzzy around his hat. Um, And this is one of those things like you can put the paint thick and texture it a little bit. That way it looks like it uh, has some dimension to it, some depth. Um, okay. So what kind of hair does Santa have? He's got white hair, right? Uh, white almost like a gray. So what we're going to do is we're, we're just going to kind of come in here and we're going to give this guy some white hair. I'm just kind of blobbing it on. Uh, you'll notice that I'm just dabbing it down. Um, and that's only because I want it to be thicker in some places. And if you put your red on real thin around the edges, you should be able to touch the red a little bit without mixing it um, again if you can't that's okay and I'll probably go through and add some final touch stuff with maybe like a black sharpie marker or or something once I know that the, the uh, paint has dried completely on the mat uh, here Let's see, we got some white there. Um, I missed a little bit on the red, or so I'm gonna go back and put some of that on. do next is I, I believe that uh, my red's dry enough I can go over it with some black so let's see what we got here um, you don't have to do this it's I want to kind of give um, some dimension to my um, picture uh, and if you notice, I just blew one of the um, pieces came off of my 
uh, paintbrush. So I'm going to have to fix that here. And then he's got a little blood in his right? Okay. I made it to where he's got some arms. I put some of the definition up here on the hat. So how did yours turn out? I would love to um, kind of see how they look. I know that I've asked um, to see some of your artwork in the past and that still stands today. Um, if it's something that um, you don't feel proud of, um, you know that's okay um, it takes time and practice to really kind of get good at anything um, so I encourage you to keep trying I'm going to put a little bit of gray in his beard his hair here I am almost positive that whatever you've done looks simply awesome. Okay. Um, Alright. So I put a little bit of gray in his beard. My Santa has gray. Um, I like to think that we're uh, one and the same. So yeah, so let's uh, sit this off to the side here and we're going to let it dry and then uh, we'll get back to a different project. Alright, so uh, as many of uh, you know, it's snowflakes are very unique and uh, there's never one that's exactly the same as the other and it reminds me going back into my childhood when I was in school we used to make snowflakes. So what we're going to do is we're going to take a piece of paper going to fold it a couple times. Um, this is a good um, fine motor activity. Um, takes a little patience too. Uh, so we're just going to fold it into to quarters here. Um, you're going to take your scissors. Obviously you do not want to give your kids one of these big scissors. Um, and then just have them cut some shapes in it. Uh, you can say, hey, let's cut out some triangles or let's cut out some squares uh, and then have them do that. Um, and then let's do some circles, some half circles. So we have our basic shapes here and you're going to want to continue to do that. Um, kind of just let them go free. Um, whatever they want to do, uh, it's their snowflake. And again, I encourage you to join them in the activity. Um, we want to make sure that they feel uh, as if you are participating with what they enjoy. This is a good time to talk about um, what's your favorite thing in the snow? Um, do you like building snowmen? Do you like uh, jumping into snow piles, build a snow fort? Um, I know my boys are constantly asking me to uh, build things for them outside. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to 
give my little extra fold here, and that's because we want to get into the middle. And yes, it will be messy. Um, Alright, so after you make some cuts, I mean, I'm sure you guys can figure out what we're going to do next here. We're going to pull this out and I'm going to show you my snowflake here. Um, you can make a bunch of these. Um, they're working with scissors. Um, and hang them up. String them together. Make a uh, banner out of them. Uh, the paper does not have to be a full sheet. So just kind of like enjoy what you're doing now the paper that I used is some eco paper uh, it's really really cheap it's thin it does have uh, some see-through-ish kind of properties to it you really probably can't tell on here only because uh, the camera is not going to display the light that we have um, so here's here's another one and I'm just going to kind of talk about this here uh, I'm sure you guys have seen the spinning um, things from back in the day where you take it and you kind of go real fast and it looks like the reindeer is popping up out of the chimney here. Um, you can find tons of the templates for these on the internet. Uh, Pinterest is a really good place to go to to find these. Um, or you could just have them draw a picture. Uh, draw two pictures, one under and one above and then just glue it or tape it to a straw here and have a little fun with it uh, don't don't overthink it I, I was gonna do these last year um, with my kids but uh, I, I kinda got lost in my head and I was thinking you know this is something that um, might might be difficult but uh, it's really not uh, so I hope that you guys have uh, enjoyed seeing some of these activities here uh, I would love to see anything that you guys do together if you want take a small video of yourself doing it post it back to me um, I'd be more than happy to share I could put a video together of just all highlights of some of the things that um, you guys have done and uh, again as always if there's ever anything that you guys want me to do um, just let me know uh, I know I did get some requests to do um, pet related um, videos and I've been working on getting clips together for that. Um, so I look forward to seeing you guys again. You guys have a good day.